Here lies another well-known person in our silent city. Margaret Lawrence was born Jean Margaret Wemyss in Nipua, Manitoba on July 18, 1926. She is better known as the author of The Stone Angel, which later was made into a movie. Her parents were Robert Wemyss and Verna Jean Simpson. Margaret was known as Little Peggy during her childhood. She lost her parents when she was quite young. Her mother died when she was four years old. So an aunt on her mother's side came to look after little Peggy. A year later, her dad married her aunt. But then five years later, her father passed away. And that left Margaret on her own with her stepmother and stepbrother who had been adopted. So they moved in to her grandparents' place and there she lived and went to school until she was 18. Margaret Lawrence attended Winnipeg United College, now known as the University of Winnipeg. Her first published work was called The Land of Our Father. This story contains the first mention of Manawaka. This name is used in many of her later novels. The Stone Angel, which she wrote in 1964, was Margaret's second novel. It places the town of Manawaka, which is based on Nipua, firmly into Canada's imaginative landscape. Margaret Lawrence was a writer of short stories and also a great fiction writer. She'd take an idea and then mold it into what she wanted. And that's what she did with the Stone Angel. For years I thought the monument was an angel. Then looking closely at it after taking many pictures and video, I come to realize that the stone angel is a shepherdess who has no wings, holding flowers in one hand and a lamb by her feet. So she was able to mold anything into her idea of what she wanted for her story. The Stone Angel actually is a monument in our beautiful silent city for John A. Davidson, who was the co-founder of Nipua, a mayor, and also a provincial cabinet minister. But although the statue is depicted in the book as an angel, it is really a shepherdess. But everyone here calls it the Stone Angel, including me. The Margaret Lawrence home is a living memorial to her. There's a variety of memorabilia, including doctoral robes and hoods, a typewriter she used, honorary degrees, and some of the original furniture. There's a gift shop on site. The house is open mid-May to the end of September. 